Welcome to Create Multimedia Domination with Multiplicity Preneur Marketing Models. I am the Chief Multiplicity Preneur Pioneer, Ali Nicole, while she does it all. I am grateful to be joined by the Multiplicity Mound Builder, Joseph L. Jones Jr. I always love uh, collaborating with him and we do phenomenal works together. We are the creators of the Multiplicity Monument Empires and also the Multiplicity uh, Marketplace Media Tours and you actually can explore those platforms um, on Tumblr. So Joseph, thank you for joining me for this initiative. Thank you for including me in the number. <laughs> Well, it couldn't have it any other way because um, you know we've been doing a series you know around uh, this and want to shift to talking more about the marketing you know aspect because we know that the marketing aspect is so important because we can have systems and structures and the brand being just right and and everything set up for our multiplicitypreneur um, success. But ultimately, we have to have um, marketing on a completely different level um, than the average. Would you agree? Well, absolutely. It's incumbent now for us to take things to the next level mm -hmm. and go beyond the traditional ways of doing things and the traditional processes yes, because that's yes. not proving very, very successful. Uh, no, absolutely not. You're so right. You are so right. And you're right. Um, and two, the whole journey of multiplicity entrepreneurship is really about being um, unconventional, uninstitutionalized in the way that you show up as a brand and as an empire. And as you know, I teach the concept around being a brand and empire, you know, expression and being able to showcase uh, yourself in these demonstrations of multiplicity and multidimensionalism. And so what I want to do uh, for this particular uh, session to talk about, you know, creating multimedia domination uh, for multiplicity entrepreneurship and having these uh, marketing uh, models. And so I'm just going to kind of share one particular model. But before I get into that, you know, you and I, we previously, um, you know, had a discussion about creating a, a multimedia um, domino multiplicity marketing effect. And yeah, I talked about that in a previous training and how others have to start operating from this higher level of awareness and consciousness as they are setting up uh, their multimedia marketing agendas for this experience in multiplicity entrepreneurship. And I likened it to playing a game of dominoes. And I was encouraging others to really start multiplying their brands and their empire expressions over um, the various platforms that they set up in addition to uh, the social media mediums. You know, you and I talked about that, the social media mediums that they are leveraging for their marketing communications. Something else you and I talked about um, was that you know, each of the platforms would be representing a core aspect of uh, one's brand and empire yet still have the goal in mind to ultimately start syncing up to segue others into um, these other levels of expression as options that they could consider. And, you know, this could be, you know, the different platforms. So when others land on one of those platforms, it should start to create this domino effect, you know, rippling out where um, others are going to want to be a part of other, you know, formats of the experience, you know, as well. So within what we're talking about today, so this uh, type of setup that is uh, for creating these models, it's all about creating diversity for high level. And I do want to emphasize this high level multiplication maximization that will lead to monetization um, with the multiplicity marketing. But in order to make this a consistent and effective format for success, Joseph, um, one must also have not just all of the things that we've talked about in, in the series for setups, but this um, multiplicity preneur marketing model. 
you know, and because this is what's going to support others for the continual expansion. And, and that's what it's all about, the continual expansion. So I have a simple model that others can um, jumpstart with. And it's called uh, Marketing with the Minis for Multiplicity uh, Preneur Success. So the first um, aspect uh, or concept in a sense, or part of the model that people need to have is to start marketing with many products. And um, this can be five by eight to six by nine mini books. And those mini books or mini messengers, there are many marketing messengers or macro messengers, so to speak. They can be 30 to 50 pages. And I recommend that people um, use the platform Kindle Direct Publishing, um, Amazon platform, and you can publish for free. And you can also create ebook uh, versions, you know, as well. Also, um, creating audio MP3s of mini trainings, mini talks. These can be info um, or educational products, um, you know, for downloadable use because we're really talking about the online space here. Also, developing uh, mini courses and creating even mini blogs on platforms. If you've heard any of my other trainings and teachings, I teach a lot about creating platforms on Tumblr and, and sites like Blogger or bloggers uh, known as Blogspot. Um, and you don't have to do a lot of blogging. A lot of times I, I tell people on these blogs that you just need a three to five part blog series. I mean, obviously you can continue to blog on it or you can create a longer series, but at least, you know, kind of a setup with, uh, with three to five, uh, a three to five part blog series. Um, you can also feature your products and services you know, on this particular platform. So my recommendation is that you consider uh, creating one of each per niche focus to leverage as lead magnets, also a beta test, okay? And then income generation, you know, for sure. But these uh, many, uh, products, they can be even the forerunners to more expanded products and services that you want to provide. But these uh, just give a taste or an intro, if you will, into your higher level offerings. If you're choosing to offer, you know, something far beyond uh, what's created initially. So this allows you to make money while leveraging um, what you have so that as you're leveling up, you can consider what I said doing, maybe some upsell, you know, opportunities and using this kind of as a beta test, you know, in the market um, to see if the products that you are putting out of the services are even going to be ones that people are even, you know, responding, you know, to. So doing them in this mini format and leveraging in that in your marketing is uh, really uh, beneficial, so many benefits. Um, so again, when you have three to five areas that you serve, and that's what Joseph and I, I teach is that in your multiplication, whether you are multiplying a concept, but if you are doing this to serve different niches, then when you have these three to five areas, um, that you serve and, uh, you, how can I say it? Because let, let me kind of dive digress here for a second because I want to go to something um, around our teachings because in case others have not been following this particular series or any other um, teachings and trainings around the multiplicity concept. So just to give a, a kind of a premise is that when you are using the multiplicity preneur um, concept, you are multiplying your, your efforts either in one particular area where there's different demonstrations and levels of that particular core focus, or you are taking certain areas of your talents, your expertise, or even a hobby and starting to sort of monetize that. And so you're diversifying the ways that you can make an impact, you know, um, you know, and an income. So I just wanted to be able to, to share that we do have other teachings and trainings, um, and you can find those on our uh, platforms that will help you to sort of get up to speed with this concept, you know, if you're not uh, familiar. So again, going back to what I was saying is that 
what I've been sharing so far will, um, yes, definitely allow you to start making some income while you're leveling up to do these um, higher up sale opportunities. And again, you don't have to, but just emphasizing that it can be leveraged, you know, for that. So when you do serve these different industries, I'm going to say that you need to have at least two or more of these elements in place that I, I talked about. You don't have to use them all, but definitely at least two, um, because this is what's going to create the massive momentum towards uh, monetizing your marketing for um, multiplicitypreneurship success. And you need momentum because marketing is all about being able to create uh, momentum that then ultimately gives you a continuation of expansion in the marketplace, not just vibrationally, but from a presence perspective as well for the no like and trustability, you know, of a brand. So um, let me move forward because one thing when I get to talking about these different concepts, I can stay on one um, for the longest because just one concept can be uh, expounded upon in, in so many different uh, ways. So the next one is marketing with many media blitz. Okay. And so a media blitz normally is like a 30 to 90 day uh, initiative where the primary goal is to get featured on other media outlets to bring exposure to your brand business product um, and or services. And so examples, this can be uh, a podcast or online TV features. You can do guest blogging, get featured in, in magazines, whether you are being featured as, you know, a top expert brand for something you've done, or you're writing articles or contributing, you know, articles to that particular publication, um, um, magazine publication. Uh, this can also be about being invited to speak on a webinar or telesummit or any type of a virtual event. Um, in this case, I would recommend for a jump start, since we are talking about doing this kind of in a mini format, is to consider doing a week to a 30 day. So um, a 15 day media blitz actually would be great. And you don't have to get featured every day. So this is not about, okay, I've got 15 days. I got to do something all these 15 days. No, it is just within 15 days, so to speak. Um, you just set an intention and create a plan that you will make it a point within that short time frame to get a certain amount of features, even if it's, you know, two. Um, and then you spend the other days uh, marketing and repurposing those features to create sort of your own uh, media, you know, on your own platforms. So one thing that I, I teach around this concept is that you really need both your own publicity and other media outlets to create maximum exposure. This is really, really important as it relates to marketing. So a way that you can start is by seeking out um, media outlets that are relevant to the core niche focus that you want to present. So you don't want to provide a platform with multiple, you know, offers for an expression of your brand. This is the thing about multiplicity and, and cross uh, branding um, that you have to be mindful is that when demonstrating these different levels and aspects of your, your branding and certain products uh, and services, you only want to focus on one area for a specific initiative. Uh, of course, now you can request to do some type of guest feature series or a week um, with someone where you actually can focus on, let's say, an area a day. And this might be a good option for you to consider doing more so with a colleague <laughs> um, than another platform, even though you, you can definitely uh, go for that, you know, for sure. But when you have colleagues, they may be willing to allow you to either come on their platform or they could do sort of a special event, you know, for you. And then you can take those uh, recordings, uh, whether video or audio, however, 
and leverage them accordingly, whether in YouTube or even, you know, your own uh, podcast, um, or podcast archives, which is, you know, something else that I, I teach on, and I'll talk about that as well, just a little. So for a media blitz, that's just kind of a jump start. Like I said, to all of these concepts that I'm sharing, there's a lot more depth to um, being able to expound upon, you know, different fundamentals uh, around these. But um, I just want to be able to just seed you, you know, with uh, certain elements of this. So the next one is marketing with uh, many media tours. And I'm, I'm talking about the virtual aspect here as we are talking about multimedia um, and creating this domination effect. So online media tours, they also work great for products, book launches, or even rebranding, um, or just showing another aspect of your brand. These are perfect as it relates to the multiplicity um, entrepreneurship aspect. And so whether you've got virtual speaking events, I mean, the media tours are great for so many different things. This is also um, like a 30 to 90 day initiative. So these endeavors, I find or have found that they really work best when they are conducted over a series of weeks um, or months and then broken down into phases with having a, a core theme and a primary focus for each stage you know, of your tour. So when someone's actually doing a 30 to 90 day one, I and I teach to do it in 30 days, you know, increments. Yes, they have the first 30 days is going to be for this specific focus. And the second one is this one. Um, and it's a really smooth process. But because again, we're talking about creating this mini experience to create some marketing momentum. So to jumpstart, my recommendation is doing just a 30 day media tour, not a 30 to 90 day one, just doing a 30 day one to start creating this um, momentum for the multiplicity for success. So you want to actually make this media tour about your brand expression as a multiplicity uh, preneur. So the goal would be to highlight in a categorized way the various aspects of your three to five um, core branding areas or the areas of service, as I mentioned, what Joseph and I you know, teach. And this would be great to showcase on all of your Tumblr or Blogspot, uh, you know, platforms that I mentioned, and to be able to put these mini products and um, ultimately leading to your higher level services. Because I'm going to emphasize this, you know, um, even though I've stated that it's not necessary that you create these higher level services, and because some people are just using the multiplicity entrepreneurship because it's more of their uh, you know, residual income. It's more of just a revenue factor that they want to leverage for themselves. But for the higher end advantage, it is good to at least allow one of those two aspects to scale up for some higher level services. But going back to um, <laughs> what I'm saying, because I'll start talking on a whole nother topic about that. So with this, um, the many media tours, you can also leverage your, your media blitz experience within this format to serve sort of as a pre-tour. And that's normally how I teach it is that do a media blitz first to lead into um, the media tours. But these media tours, um, they do also work well with serving others at, at different price points. And so um, that's something that I, I teach about as well. But you want to focus mainly in this media tour because this is different than trying to just get exposure like the media blitz you want to mainly focus on creating paid um, virtual events that you host but in addition to still doing features on other platforms but of course on those other platforms you can be getting booked to do you know paid initiatives so you also um want to be blogging, uh, writing LinkedIn articles and, and podcasting or creating a, a 
podcast series is which something I mentioned, you know, earlier is that whether it's just a podcast archive series, and you can do these on platforms like um, Anchor, Podomatic, uh, you can actually create your own media tour platform. And Blog Talk Radio, I would recommend for that if you're going to do um, a media tour platform where you're just using that platform during your media tour seasons, uh, you Blog Talk Radio is definitely one I would recommend for that. And what can happen is when you create these platforms or these series, or whether it is just uh, you know consistent uh, podcast, but you can leverage your content as evergreen marketing throughout the year. So um, again, <laughs> it's just that helps to continuously create the domino effect or the domination effect because when other people are still doing certain things, you've already got, you know, a cornucopia of some marketing that you can just keep leveraging as your, you know, kind of commercials and, and, and things to just keep, you know, leveling up. But of course, like I said, I can talk about all of these concepts uh, for days, but, um, this, what I'm speaking about, will allow you to showcase your multiplicity preneurship in a very unique way to bring uh, exposure to your brand and your empire expression. And this is how you create this multimedia domination marketing model for multiplicity uh, preneur success. So I want everyone to just imagine being able to have something like this, that you can rinse and repeat this process when you desire, or just do it one time and then just leverage the content for consistent evergreen marketing, um, you know, for this uh, multiplicity entrepreneurship uh, experience. So I know I've rendered quite a bit. <laughs> Joseph, <laughs> I'm going to bring you in now to uh, quickly share <laughs> about uh, your thoughts around uh, what I've shared, and then I will uh, share, you know, some resources. <laughs> that is quite a bit, and it is absolutely precious oh, to hear you. these very, they sound very simplistic, and they are very simplistic. Mm -hmm. They are, they are. But in that simplicity is some real monumental concrete information that you won't get anyplace else. These are very simple step-by-step -step methods for you to get to your domination in your industry, but you really have to put this into practice. Yes. They are simplified for a reason, and that mm -hmm. reason is a lot of times you have a lot of people with a lot of complex things that you got to do and, mm -hmm. and all of that. <clears throat> If you just take one of these, if yeah. you just look at marketing with the mini books and commit mm -hmm. yourself to just doing that one, you mm -hmm. will have yourself on a course and a trajectory to be a dominator in that field. Yeah. Or if you just decide to do the mini media blitzes and constantly do blitzes over and mm -hmm. over, that by itself is a form of domination. Or you may decide to do a number of media tours over and over. These very, very simple steps are key in order for you to dominate in your industry. And right now you should be in a place where I am, which is a place of gratitude, because this information right now is important and life-saving for your business and for you to really bring forth your talents and your gifts in the area of your choosing. And just taking these steps will allow you to go deeper into yourself and bring out the much needed information and tools and products for this time that we're dealing with. So mm. thank you for putting that process together and making it so simple that not mm. even a fool can miss it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, thank you for saying that. Oh, wow. That, that caught me off guard, but that was so on point. You're right. It, it is just that, it is just that uh, simple that it, you, you, it would take effort to actually make this hard. 
Joseph, you are just the boss, and I do mean it. I say it all the time, the boss of communication. And your commentary around the concepts that I share and, uh, and also you know, what we uh, teach on, it is just magnificent. It heightens it in ways that is just far beyond uh, the expression that I can bring you know, during um, what I'm presenting. So I wanna share really quickly um, some resources and places to direct others to. So I started off talking about having this higher level awareness of consciousness and, and yes, being very much aware, especially as it relates to this multiplicity uh, preneurship experience. So a uh, resource is uh, the conscious multiplicity marketing factor made easy. It's an intentional multi-level marketing journal planner for multiplicity entrepreneurial success. And then you have marketing with many books in the media made easy, how to powerfully position yourself in the media with many books. And it is a creation planner. And then another one, because it's part of a three-part series, uh, another one is marketing with many talks and many books made easy, how to powerfully position yourself as a speaker and author with less effort. Um, and then I also have a publication on the second coming of entrepreneurial branding <laughs> for a new era uh, marketplace. <laughs> and uh, it is really all about um, the uh, basics of being able to do new era rebranding or repositioning and relaunching uh, your brand or your business with online media tours. And it is an action planner. And then also I have the second uh, coming of solo entrepreneurship for a new era marketplace. And it is the basic introduction to all around entrepreneurship for next level uh, business innovation. And it is an action planner. I will also have um, articles, um, some links in the description uh, box for learning how to publish uh, with KDP and also um, setting up virtual tours as well. So Joseph, um, right before we, we close out, um, do you have um, just any final thoughts before we conclude or any one word that you would love to put out there, a uh, phrase of an intention for our listeners? That would be take action. <laughs> you have been given these three key bullet points in order to establish domination in your field. Take action. Start with your media or uh, mini books and then start with your media blitz and then go on your media tours. But take action. Now is always the appointed time and the perfect time to yes. begin to do the work that is required. So that would be my, mm. my key Thank thing you. to do. Excellent. That was great. The charge of call to implementation is always uh, the best. And you magnificently stated it earlier is that when you have this in simplistic format, it's designed that way so that people can actually get into action. And when you take one action and then take the next one, you create this momentum. And so um, even with going back to marketing with the many products and Joseph put, you know, emphasis on the many books, um, you know, even more. And that's, yeah, definitely. Because when you create your many books, then you can turn around and create some of the other products that I mentioned in terms of uh, audio, um, of course, it can just, you, you can multiply from doing one particular thing. And then you have a variety of offerings that you can leverage during the media blitz and uh, the media tours. So great stuff, Joe. So you just, I always love what you, you, you bring home. Um, so thank you so much for being here with me and uh, facilitating today. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And you're welcome. <laughs> so there will be information in the description box and links uh, for the publications and articles and also for you to learn uh, more about how um, 
Joseph and I, what we do and uh, the works that we do together and, and also our new platform, uh, www.multiplicitymultimediadomination.tumblr.com uh, and you'll find the series uh, that we've been talking about on that particular platform. So it's time to create this multimedia domination, uh, multiplicity marketing effect for sure, so that your multiplicitypreneurship can be uh, consistent and effective for real meaningful results. And we certainly look forward to bringing you more trainings um, just like this one in the near future.